In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install the Cobbleverse mod pack for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod wins like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modwinf.com, click on modwinf, and this will bring you to the modern homepage. From there, just go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mod packs. Then, from there, simply go to search mod packs and type in Cobbleverse like so. And here you'll find Cobbleverse Pokemon Adventure Cobblemon. Click on the name, and this will bring you to this page. From there, just go to the versions tab. And as this is all for 1.21.1, you just want to get the latest one. So, the way this will work is that we will be using the green download button, but we will actually not be clicking it. If you're on this page, simply go to a new page or a new tab and go to your search bar and search up MR pack to zip, like so. Now enter. Here you'll find a website called download.fo and just go ahead and click on modern pack to zip converter. So just click on this link and from there, once you're here, just go ahead and scroll down to download from URL and then go back to the Cobbleverse page. Once you're here, just find the version that you want, but in most cases it's the latest one, and then go to the green download button and right click it. This will bring up some menus and here, just do copy link address. Okay. Once you did this, go back to the website where you can convert the modwinf pack. And then make sure you are on download from URL. And then go to the little text box and right click and click paste. So this is the download button, but under a URL form. So from there, just click download. And this just goes ahead and actually creates the pack download where you can actually have actual mods instead of the like modern app which can actually only work with this this can work with any other minecraft launcher this is why i'm making you do this so i guess you can use anything else which isn't the modern app if you have the modern app of course you can use the modern app if you don't this is the way to do it so here, we'll just wait to actually go ahead and download the pack, and then we will need to get one more thing, which is fabric for Minecraft, because this is all like Minecraft fabric mods. So yeah, this just downloads us the actual zip, which is right here. This is our zip with all the mods, as you can see it's quite big. And what you want to do is simply go ahead and go to a new tab. You want to go to your search bar and search up Minecraft fabric and here enter here you'll find a website called fabricmc.net click on the link and this will bring you to this page from there just go to the blue download button and then go to the blue download for windows button and now you have fabric as well so once you have these two here you can go ahead and continue and what we'll do is close or minimize our web browser so i'll just close mine and from there, you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Once you're here, you will want to double click the fabric installer. And then you want to wait a bit. And for the Minecraft version, make sure it is 1.21.1, as this is the Cobbleverse mod pack version. And then click install. Here, click OK. And then close. Once you did this, you can go ahead and unzip the zip. So you will want to select, right click, extract all. So that's kind of what you want to do. And then you want to do extract. And this just extracts the actual zip so you can actually use the mods. So this can take a bit of time, but not that long though. And once you have this, I'm going to show you what's inside. You have all of these here. So the actual file we want, we want to use is all of these. This one does not work for Minecraft. You can go ahead and check if you want, but this will just be something else. 
this is the actual Minecraft folders here. So once you have this, like this, you can go and open up your Minecraft launcher. So this is the default Minecraft launcher. And from there, we'll be able to go ahead and actually add the folders to the .minecraft folder. So here we have Fabric Loader here, that's good. And what you want to do is go to installations here on the top. Then you want to go ahead and hover over Fabric Loader here and go to the folder icon. Then what you want to do is simply go ahead and go to your downloads folder. You want to go inside the unzipped folder. You want to select all the Minecraft folders, which are these, and copy them. Then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to the .minecraft folder, like so, and then you want to paste them. And this just pastes in everything, and at some point you might have like an error saying like, oh, do you want to replace, like so. Just do replace, and there you go. Now you have the mod pack in .minecraft. This means you can go to the actual Minecraft launcher again. You can go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. Here, you might have to do I understand the risks, and click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so this shows you that you need to have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM to actually use the mod pack. I wanted to show you this because if you have this error, don't worry, let me show you how to fix it. So what you want to do is if you have this error, just do quit game. And then what you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher again. And this works for any other Minecraft launchers as well. So let me show, just show you this. Here we have Fabric Loader. This is how we open up the actual game. And it tells us that we have less than 4 gigabytes. So what you want to do is just go to installations here. Then you want to hover over Fabric Loader and go to the three dots. Then just go to edit. Then go to more options. And then here you'll find JVM arguments. For the XMX2G, this is your two gigabytes. This is less than four gigabytes. So we have an error. So here, just change this to four gigabytes, six, eight, you know, you can really go far. So I'll just put six here because four is what they want, but there you go. Anything more than four will work. So once you have this, just do save, then go back to play. Then just like before, make sure you have Fabric Loader and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up again. Okay, so once you have Cobbleverse here, you will see that as we have more than 4 gigabytes, it works. And then you can go ahead and actually go ahead and play. So for example, here we have our single player world set if you want to play. And if you want to play with a server, just go here and join a server which has this mod pack on it. But for example, if we just go to single player, and here we go back to the default Minecraft. So just go back to create new world. And what you want to do is just create yourself a new world and this will actually like import all the Cobbleverse mods and data packs to it. So I'll just give myself creative, but you might play this in survival, I'll just do creative. And then we can go ahead and actually see the mod pack in action. So yeah, let's just wait for this to load up and then we'll be able to go ahead and play around. So here we have our Minecraft which loads up. Like so and there you go so this automatically applies shaders to you so that is one thing to note but like yeah there you go as you can see this is definitely different from normal minecraft obviously if we go to our inventory here you will see that we just have five pages of mods so there's quite a lot of things to go through but yeah there's just a lot of things to make the game a bit more lively and as well as Pokemon of course because this uses Cobblemon which uh, has all these Pokemons in it so yeah that's the idea for Cobbleverse and yeah it works just fine so that's how we download and install
couple of us for Minecraft Java. So, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!